new year, new me or something along those lines. <laughs> so today is Sunday the 7th of January. I have been away. I haven't been away anywhere particularly magical. Actually, I'm lying. I did go somewhere quite magical. But anyway, I've been away for the past two and a half it's probably been about three weeks since I left and I am now home. I've stayed with family over Christmas and I managed to have Matt come and see us. He's been away so that was that was particularly special to have him home for just a couple days. But with it being 2024, this is my first video back in the new year. I thought about what I did last year and I remember I made a video all about my goals that I set for 2023. Now, I don't actually remember some of the goals that I set. That's how often I change my mind with my goals. So when it comes to New Year's resolutions and things like that, I never used to do them. I remember when I started my journey back in February 2020, I remember thinking at the beginning of that year, this is going to be my New Year's resolution, but I didn't actually start it until mid February. So that's really what I wanted to just mention in this video is if you're thinking it's a new year, new me, I've got all these fitness goals, I'm gonna be on it, I'm gonna give myself a, a solid year, I'm gonna lose all this weight, I'm gonna learn to run, furthest I've ever run in my life. They are amazing thoughts, that's an amazing mindset, but you gotta bear in mind, it's still January, it's still winter, the evenings are still going to come in nice and early <laughs> and you've just had time off. You've got to go back to work. Everybody's got to go back to school. The mood is going to be a little bit lower. So if you're then going to be cutting back on the little things that make you happy, like the odd chocolate bar, or maybe you just want to order an extra sugary coffee from one of your favourite baristas. Don't deny yourself those sorts of things too much, <laughs> too quickly, because for me, when I started back in 2020, it was a case of cutting things out slowly, bit by bit, and it made me think about what I want my goals to be for this year. And to be honest, I haven't set any goals whatsoever. I have no idea what's going to happen this year. I thought about what I wanted to do and I thought about the distances I was hoping to run. But then I came home and I realised, basically come back to the same situation I was in in December. I have no husband here. I have sole responsibility for my daughter and my dog. I don't have the time that I would have if my husband was home. So if I wanted to lift heavier weights this year, I wouldn't be able to actually start that full force until he's home, which is going to be mid-March. So <laughs> I'm going to be realistic and I'm not actually going to set any goals this year. Well, I say this year. I'm not going to set them right now for this year. I will set goals. But what I do want to know is, I want to know what your goals are. I love hearing what you guys are up to and what you guys are training for. Have you set yourselves any goals for this year? Please put in the comments below. Have you set any news resolutions? What do you think about them? Are they things that you do? But just in case you are new, I have been on a running and weight loss journey since February 2020. I started my weight loss journey at 230 pounds. was unable to run for more than 30 seconds at a time. I dreamt of being able to run without feeling like I was going to pass out. <laughs> I looked online to try and find someone who was honest and relatable, someone who I could connect with. I could see myself having the same struggles as them. They weren't making it look easy, basically. Unfortunately, I couldn't find that person. So to cut a long story short, I've run a lot of miles and I've lost a lot of weight. And I decided to become that hot and sweaty, overweight, struggling runner who was getting out there and smashing it and putting it online. I decided to be that YouTuber myself. So yes, hit that subscribe button if you think this is the kind of content you need. If you know someone who might need it, let them know. If it's something you're just going to enjoy, hit the subscribe. I have the best community of people you guys are amazing i adore your comments you make me smile you make me laugh you make me cry you guys you're the best while i was away i did have one magical magical day with my daughter new year's day we headed to my favorite place in the world which is the warner brothers studio tour the making of harry potter i absolutely adore the harry potter films they are incredibly nostalgic for me i've read all the books the philosopher's stone was the first book i ever read and it transports me back to my childhood every time I read it and every time I watch the film. I knew that I was going to be alone for Christmas and New Year's because obviously Matt was away. So I booked myself and my daughter tickets to the studio tour for the 1st of January. I wanted to set the year off right and we had the most amazing time together looking at all the sets and messing around and she got to fly the broomstick and yeah we had a really really lovely day. 
and then not long after that i picked matt up from the airport and we had a run together so here is a montage and a few clips of the first run of 2024 <laughs> If you're a regular viewer, you'll know that. But if not, he's been away. He's not actually meant to be home until mid to end of March. So about six months away. And what is it that you got? What's it called? Like a OSD. OSD. Basically, he gets like three days off and he's allowed to come home. And he did. So Storm's happy. I'm happy. And that's the first run of 2024. I've had such a long time off for vlogging. This actually feels a little bit weird. Matt hasn't actually ran outside since September. So, but it wasn't very fun because his watch is playing up. So we did a 5K and Matt's watch was saying, what was it saying? Well, I think five miles in total. Yeah, apparently we've done five miles, <laughs> not 5K. Nowhere near it. And how fast was your watch saying? Seven miles. Okay, I can confirm. <laughs> and if you're a regular viewer, you can confirm. We did not do seven minute miles. I don't know what my average pace was, 11, yeah, 11 minute miles. Like four minutes different to what you're watching. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on. If you guys have a Garmin and you've had issues with like that before, put it in the comments below and let us know how you fixed it because I don't really know how we're gonna sort that out. Well, um, the distance and the pace is wrong. Yeah, everything's wrong. So <laughs> yeah, but super happy with that. We would have done longer. But obviously, Matt needs to spend time with our daughter as well. So we squeeze this in mainly for Storm to be honest. But um, yeah, he still had to run at my pace because <laughs> I tagged along with the two of them. But yeah, he looks knackered. Oh. That's his first run with me since September. Yeah. But he's, he technically kind of was still a run with me though because it was my pace. <laughs> so that was the first run, 2024. I'm sure I'll be vlogging about my plans for this year or their lack of. I am currently staying at my parents' house over Christmas. That nearly didn't happen but I'm here and I have been running regular, but I just haven't been filming it. I have been posting them up on my Instagram. So if you want to see all of my runs, I post every single run I do on the day I do it. So head over to at Lucy Shaw Vlogs if you want to check those out and Matt's Instagram if you're interested. Matt and Storm runs. It's been very quiet. It's been very quiet and it probably will be quiet, but um, if you want to see cute pictures of Storm, then head over there. This year in 2024, I think I'm gonna focus more on the mental health benefits of the running that I do. I'm just gonna try and be happier this year. Instead of setting a fitness goal or instead of setting a number on a scale goal, I'm just gonna aim to be happier this year and more content. I did step on the scales this morning and I have put weight on. I've actually put about seven pounds on since I weighed myself last, which has probably been about four weeks. Christmas and New Year has not been kind to me in that sense, but I'm not gonna go over the top mad and I'm not gonna cut absolutely everything out and go, go in 
super hard i'm going to go back to my tactics and i'm just going to gradually slow things down so if you want to come along for that ride on 2024 i am hoping to lose weight i'm just not going to set a number on the scales for this year i am going to be filming some what i eat in a day just to kind of show you how i do things gradually and slowly and tomorrow i'm heading out for a run with storm so i'm going to film a run with me i've got no plan on how far where i'm going to go so i should probably figure that out i will see you guys next week for some more updates bye guys